Hey everyone, Wiggles here. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best ways you can optimize Avowed to increase your frames per second and reduce any kind of fatal crash errors in this game. I'll make this video short and sweet, so let's just jump right into it. So let's start with the game settings. Go to your settings menu, and something that decreases your frames per second is if your field of view is over 100, but I strongly recommend that you just keep it at 90. Make sure you turn off V-Sync and ray tracing as this can definitely impact your game performance as well. And then upscaling really depends on what kind of graphics card you're using. So if you have an NVIDIA card, make sure you use NVIDIA DLSS. If you have an AMD graphics card, use that. And if you have neither, TSR is probably your best option. If after all these things and it still is not working properly, you could try turning this off as well. From here, putting on the super resolution quality to ultra performance gives you the best performance possible. If you have a higher end PC, you can change this to performance but making sure it's on one of these two is definitely vital for getting the best results. And if you're using the Nvidia card, using on plus boost is the best option for you. Then let's go down to the graphic settings. So put this to custom and put pretty much everything to low, except for view distance and texture quality, put that at medium. If the game does show any signs of stuttering, you can put this down to low as well, but I found that my game runs completely fine when I put this down to medium. So this is pretty much all you need to do for the settings side of things inside the game, but there's actually a lot of different things you can do outside of the game to improve your performance. So the first thing you can do to improve your performance is head to game mode settings in your PC. So open that up and make sure you're in game mode. Once you finish that, head to the graphics section underneath it. This will take you to system display and graphics. And pretty much what you want to do is find the game in here. And the way to do that is to find the actual local files for the game. There's two different ways you can find the game. So whether you're playing on the Steam or the Battle.net launcher, you could just go from Battle.net, you go to options and then go show and explore. If you're playing on Steam, same thing, just right click the game, go to manage and browse local files. And it brings up the tab here. Open that up and then head to the Alabama folder, open up binaries, Windows 64, and right click on about Win64 shipping and do copy as path. Once you have that path, go to the browse section here, input the file name at the bottom address bar and click add. And that's how you're going to find it in here. So once you have that, you go to options and make sure that it's set to high performance. Next, head back over to this Avowed Win64 shipping application, right click it and go to properties. When you're in here, go to this compatibility tab and then click on disable full screen optimizations and go into change high DPI settings and then click on override high DPI scaling behavior based on the application. And then make sure you hit okay twice just to save everything. Next, you wanna to go to adjust the appearance and performance on Windows. So this is in the control panel, but just search that up and you'll find it. By default, Windows adds so many different animations to your computer, but what you're going to want to do is go to custom, turn pretty much everything off except for four different options. So you want to turn on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of the icons, show Windows contents while dragging, and smooth edges of the screen fonts. And make sure you hit apply to save everything. Another thing that can really help your PC is by going over to your power plan. So search for power plan in your search bar and select choose a power plan. So by default, it could be so many different things, but changing it to ultimate performance can give you the best performance for the game. So every PC is different, but going to something like disk cleanup is really great to do for your PC. Going in here, and getting rid of all the extra files that your computer doesn't need can really help improve the performance for the game. Simply go into every kind of drive that you have or the one that you're using to play the game. And when you click OK, then it'll ask if you want to delete these files. And these are just files that could be bogging down your computer in general. Cleaning up these files for a computer can really help improve the performance for your game because there could be so many different kinds of issues with your computer. So doing any kind of optimization like this can really help. But make sure you're doing that for the drive that uses your Windows and the one that you're playing about on. Next, you want to go to defrag and optimize drives. So the same thing, you can just search for that as well and pretty much just optimize the main drive and the drive that you're playing on. If you haven't done this in a while, this can really help improve your performance as well. Next up, sometimes having tons of different programs up on your computer can really bog down your performance. Like right now, you can see my Google Chrome is taking so much of my memory right now. So if you're trying to play this game at the same time as having tons of different Chrome tabs up, you can try to close these Chrome tabs and that could really help improve your performance. But sorting it by the memory used and the CPU used can really help you see where the issues are. Select whichever one you want to remove and do end task. Keep doing that process for everything bogging down your computer and that could really help improve your performance as well. 
Since every computer is different, I should mention that you could do your updates as well. So things like Windows Update could really help if you haven't done this in a long time. And for whichever kind of graphics card you're using, make sure you go into the drivers for it and do check for updates, as this can really improve just the overall quality of the game, and it can definitely improve how your game is run. All right, that's it for me. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a like so you can share it across YouTube, and please subscribe to my channel to see more great guides just like this. Have a great day, everyone. Cheers.